Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a luxury haul. As you can see from the title, I have a lot of stuff to share, so I'm just going to jump right into it, starting with Hermes. First, I'll show the smaller things. I got two blushes, one in rose apricot. I got this one for my mom, and then this one's in rose tan. I've already been using it, so that's why it's not in the original packaging. So I haven't looked at her shade yet, but I'll show you mine. And I have already been using this. It's a really pretty tan color and you can definitely use this almost as like to give a sun-kissed bronze look which is what I've been using it for. It kind of looks like a bronzer but it's like a hint of red in it so you couldn't really use it as a bronzer but I like to use it basically this hair I'm wearing it today as well. That way it gives you kind of a sun-kissed look so I really like this. Um, I don't really like super pink blushes so I love this shade. And then for the rose apricot one um, the reason why I chose these shades is because my mom and I already have the lipsticks of Rose Apricot and the Rose Tan. I have the Rose Tan, she has the Apricot, so I basically just purchased us uh, matching blush versions of the lipsticks. So, and I like how it comes in this cute little packaging. Same exterior packaging, this one's just in Rose Apricot. And it does come with this little film over it, I just had removed it. Since I had already used my blush, so I'll remove the film, this one. So hers is just a little lighter and a little more peachy than mine. I don't know how this looks on because I haven't used this. Um, but I, it looks kind of similar, it's a little lighter and a little more peach. And those blushes are really pigmented. I haven't tried my mom's shade, the apricot one, but the rose tan one, obviously it's the same formula. Very, very pigmented, so a little goes a long way, so definitely be careful if you buy that product. Um, so I did not know that, so I dipped my brush in, did a few swirls, and it was extremely pigmented. So just make sure you only do like one or two little taps with your brush because it is very pigmented. Next I have an Hermes Sarong. Uh, this is, or they call it a Pareo. This is a different one than the one I did in my last uh, luxury haul. I think it was my last one. This is the Can Pareo. And I'm going to Can in like a week, so I go to Paris first and I'm going to Can. So I definitely want to take this with me. I love this one. I think I like this one more than the other one. If you saw the other one in my last haul, it had yellow in it. Um, this one just looks a little bit more expensive. It's the same material and everything. It's not like one's better than the other material wise, but I love the black and white so much more. Um, I'll have all the prices and everything in the description box because I don't entirely remember. I think it was like 500, something like that. But I love this one. It opens up larger as well but I'd be wearing this. Oh, it opens up pretty big, actually. So, <laughs> opens up very large. But yeah, I love this print, and I would wear this as like a sarong over a swimsuit. I already have my outfit prepared for what I'm wearing this with, just like a black bikini. I don't know, I think I'm wearing this one with the white bikini. Maybe the black, I don't know. Um, so I'm taking this with me on my trip but I think that they are sold out of this now. I don't believe this is available on the website anymore, but you could probably find it in the store, I'm guessing. I don't know, I think it was limited edition. I'll have it linked in the description box if I can find it, but I love this, so cute, black and white. Next, I have a pair of Oran sandals from Hermes. I showed the white Oran ones, um, and I think two luxury hauls ago. These ones are not the original, um, like the basic colored Oran. These ones have rhinestones on them. They come in the dust bag, of course, and um, we already know how that deal goes. So I haven't worn them yet, but I did film a TikTok unboxing of these. My cat already has a hair in it. Um, I did film a TikTok unboxing of these shoes, so if you follow me on there, you would have already seen these. I'm obsessed with these. Um, they were more than the Iran, like the, these are the Iran sandals, but these are the rhinestone ones. The regular ones, I think, are like, 600, 800, I don't really know, but these ones were 1200, so they're definitely more, but this is gorgeous, definitely worth it. And I'll take out the other ones so you guys can see. If you want to see them on, go and look at that TikTok video. It's like in the top row, first or second row of my TikTok right now. I'm obsessed with these. Um, I just love these sandals in general. They're very comfortable, but the rhinestones just are so beautiful. And I got these in a size 39. The last ones I got were in a 39 and a half and they were a little bit big. So, these are these. They are so pretty, especially more so in person. I'm so obsessed, I could not stop looking at these. I was just like, ugh, these are so pretty. I'm obsessed with these. Definitely my favorite shoe at the moment. 
Um, I almost want to find like a boot. I wish they made boots. I went through all of their boots on their website and they didn't have any that looked like I want boots with like a little rhinestone detail. That would be so pretty. Um, so that's on my hunt list for fall and winter, but that's these shoes. Um, they run pretty true to size, but doesn't. I'm a size 9, so I got a 39. However, um, if you have like a wider foot, I would size up half a size. Next, I have a pair of Hermes mules, and if you follow me on TikTok, you would have already seen me unbox these. Um, I don't think anything else I showed in my TikTok, just the two Hermes shoes I did do an unboxing on there. So if you want to see them on, definitely go and watch that video. I don't even remember what I was last saying. My dog just barked for the last 10 minutes. I'm so irritated, but these are these shoes. For some reason, they will not focus on the camera, at least from the viewfinder. It doesn't look like they're focusing all that well, but I do have a video on my TikTok unboxing these if that wasn't able to focus. Um, I got these in a size 40. For some reason, mules, my foot likes to like hang out a little bit, so I did size up in these, which is the equivalent of a US 10. And yeah, so I love these, they're really cute. We wore it like the airport, these can be worn with like a dressier, like fall winter outfit, or even with like a summer dress. Um, absolutely love these. And the last Hermes thing is just this little plate. I actually purchased this a while ago, but I receive a lot of questions on this whenever it's in the background of my uh, Instagram stories. Sorry, my cat is roaming around. I can't do anything with these animals. Um, so I basically use this just to put um, you're like in a hotel room, sometimes they have matches and they'll have the hotel name on them. I always like to collect those. So the last place I went to was that resort in Santorini, which I vlogged, um, which is on my channel if you haven't seen that already. So I put those matches in here um, and then I just put candles next to this plate. So it's basically just kind of a decor item and I also store my matches on here, but you could put jewelry or anything on here. I think this is only like $125. So I got this from Bergdorf, so I ordered this on Bergdorf. So I think that's... A really good price for a little Hermes plate and it's really cute to store jewelry or whatever it is that you want to store on it. Next I have this Chanel bag. Uh, I purchased this a little while ago but I never shared it on camera and I haven't yet to even use it. So this is her. I call her baby Chanel. I don't believe that they sell this anymore. They might with the chevron but I don't believe they do with the quilted. Um, this was 4200 at the time that I purchased it but I think it's 4500 now for the Chevron one. This one I don't believe they carry anymore. I had purchased the last one in the US, but it has basically the matte black hardware. So you can purchase the same bag with the gold hardware, but not with the matte black as far as I understand anyways. Um, so I haven't used it yet, but it has this little back pocket. So cute, so you could wear it like this. Um, I will show you guys how it looks on me so you guys can see for size reference. Um, and I'm 5'7", I weigh 120 pounds, 118, whatever. Um, just so you guys know when I do like show this on me when I stand up so you understand the size but it has a shoulder strap as well in here so you can wear it more casual or more formal and um, so you can carry it like this which I believe is more formal in my opinion or you could put the chain on it and then carry it as more of an everyday bag um, size wise I would say this fits um, there's like a little pouch in there. It's so hard to show in the interior of black bags on camera, so you definitely can't see anything, but it's just a little small pouch. Um, it would probably fit a phone, um, maybe like a card case and a lipstick, sanitizer, whatever it is you carry. It definitely carries enough for like just going out and about, but um, if you carry more than I carry, then maybe it won't fit everything. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys this with and without the chain on. So here's without the chain. I would, I would probably carry it like this, but you guys can't see when I do that. Or this. Or like this. So that's definitely a little bit more formal to carry it that way. Then you can put the chain on it and carry it as more of an everyday bag. I just wouldn't want to carry this personally as an everyday bag since they don't make this anymore. As far as I understand, that's what they told me anyways. Um, so... Here, it's just easy to put a strap on as well. You can wear it crossbody, but I personally don't like to wear these types of bags crossbody, so more like that. I will show it crossbody, I just wouldn't personally wear it crossbody. I feel like it looks super weird crossbody. Okay. See what I mean? It looks super weird crossbody. But you could wear a crossbody. I just feel like these bags look so weird crossbody. Like I would never wear it like that. 
And then if you were to carry it like this, you would carry it like that. I just feel like the chain makes it a little bit more casual as opposed to without it. So here's the bag close up. Still has the film and everything on it. Um, and I really like how all of the classic Chanel bags have this little flap on the back. Um, because I'm such a germaphobe, even before COVID, I've always been a germaphobe. So whenever I use my card somewhere, I've always like feared the bacteria when you like insert it in the card reader or when you hand it to someone. Sometimes you don't have time, like you're at checkout and you don't want to like hold up the line. So I'll just put my card back here and um, then I can sanitize everything before I put it back in my wallet. And it also avoids me having to like touch my bag and stuff if my hands are dirty and in the grocery store or whatever. So that's what I really like about this little back pocket. Last thing from Chanel is this Chanel belt. And this is actually my grandma's. Um, I ordered it for her, but this was hers. And she said we can share it. Um, and it also can be worn as a necklace. I'm very pleased with this. This was 900 and we purchased the last one in the US. I had to track this down and find an essay at the Chanel in New York, because that's where this belt was. And um, so, Sophie, oh, oh my god, my cat's on my bed. If she jumps on my scarf, I will really have it. So this is the belt. I'm not going to be, you just saw the little culprit. Um, I'm not going to be able to sh show this on very well with this outfit that I have on at the moment. Um, but it's just rhinestones. It has the CC on it. I pray that focused. Let's just try again, just in case. Oh my god, I hope this is focusing. It's so hard to tell in the viewfinder because it's so small, but there's rhinestones all around. And what I love is that this can be worn as a choker. It is so cute as a choker. Um, I'm already wearing a necklace, so I may not be able to show it all that well. So let me try it on as a belt first, and then I'll show you guys how you can wear it as a choker. So it's definitely not going to go with this outfit at all, but I just want to show you guys size-wise how this looks. And this is a size 90. I would have gone a little smaller if it were for myself, but it's for my grandma, so she said we can share it so I'm definitely going to be wearing this as well so that's on like the tightest knot um, I just like how it's simple I would personally not really wear it as a belt though I would wear it as a choker so I will show you how that looks right now okay I'm gonna put my hair back and utilize the viewfinder to try to do this it was really simple I just tried this as a choker yesterday um, it's a little hard to do it without a mirror. Because I did this in the mirror yesterday. Oh my god, I look like Little House in the Prairie. Okay. Oh my god, I hope I do this right because I can't really see with the viewfinder. Okay, I'm gonna just go. Oh no, I wanna show you guys it in authentic time. So I'm not gonna go anywhere. Okay, so here it is as a choker. So cute. My hair's natural today, that's why it's really crazy, but. I love it as a choker. Like they should have made this as a necklace instead. But yeah, I love how this is really versatile. It can be worn as a bell, a necklace. Um, my grandma also showed me how she could wear it as a long necklace as well. I love the choker though. I think it looks so cool. But yeah, so I'm just gonna wear this for the rest of the haul now. Okay, so next I have Jackmas. I think that's how you pronounce this brand. I don't own anything from this brand except for these three hats. One's for my grandma, one's for myself, and one's for my mom. I ordered us all like matching. They're just different colors, so I'm gonna grab those really quick. Okay, so I have one in black, and I'll try them on. My hair's clean, so my mom better not say anything about me trying it on. Okay, actually, I do have makeup on my forehead, so I don't wanna. I'm only gonna fully try on mine, right? Okay, I don't wanna fully try it on. I just have it on my hairline, because my mom will not like that if I get makeup on it, but. Here's a black one. It looks kind of dorky because I have it up right now. I don't normally wear makeup on my forehead um, just because of the fact I'm always wearing hats. So if I know like I'm wearing a hat, I don't put makeup on my forehead. I'll just apply it like here and down. Um, but I do have makeup on my forehead today because I knew I was going to be filming. So here's my grandma's. So the black one's for my mom, the red one's for my grandma. And then the pink one is for me, um, but we all like share stuff, so. Yeah, I ordered these from Selfridges. Um, they were, I think, a hundred, no, ninety-four dollars each, I believe. Um, 
that was kind of stupid because I paid, had to pay for shipping and my mom has the unlimited shipping and I didn't know that so I paid for shipping for no reason. Anyways, so cute, obsessed. I just love this bucket hat trend. Okay, I think my dog's at my door, hang on. Okay, I'm just going to wear this for the remainder of the haul. Um, I feel like it oddly kind of goes with this dress. Anyways, okay, next is Fendi. I don't even know the name of this bag. I'll have it in the description box. It's very different than anything I would normally purchase or own, um, but I love it. There's not a whole lot of security with your belongings in this one. Like, there's no zipper, nothing like that. So, um, you definitely want to make sure like your wallet and stuff's at the bottom. Card case is what I would use for this. And um, let me stand up so you guys can see it on. So here's what it looks like on. I like how it's very just like, it's not in your face, like your arm's covering up the Fendi logo. And I just don't like when people are like super loud with logos. So I really like that about this bag. Um, and I feel like because you can only really wear it this way, or I think it does have the ability to like loosen the strap, I just wouldn't want to do that. But um, So you kind of are keeping your belongings more secure because your arm's over it. Um, if this were a bag that you carried like down or something, I wouldn't really like how like flimsy this is. But it's always going to be under your arm, so, you know, kind of hard for someone to like get in there if it's under your arm. Oh no, this is called a small croissant bag. I just realized that right now. Um, this is in the turquoise color. Okay, I randomly stopped recording. Let's see what me. Um, but yeah, so they had this in yellow and a few other colors as well, I believe. But I liked this color best. And I don't have any bags like this, so. Very different. Um, I'm definitely bringing this to France with me. So yeah, I just thought that was cute and it was different. It wasn't crazy expensive or anything either, so. It's that bag. Next, I have a Valentino bag. I believe this is called the small hobo bag um and this is kind of similar to the fendi croissant bag i just shared with you guys but there's a little bit more security here so while it's closed you know someone could someone could get in there here but um you know if it's over your shoulder it's kind of hard for someone to get in there without you noticing that's just always something i always think about is people like stealing things i'm always traveling usually it's kind of crowded whenever you're like traveling in a large city you know what i mean so I always think about how secure things are. Um, and this is white. I definitely needed more. It's actually off-white. My dog is having an episode again. Anyways, um, so there's this security. And I like how it's a little bit more secure. But, so here's the inside of it. It's so hard for me to show the inside because I don't like to like tear at the leather, you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, it's pretty roomy. It fits quite a bit of stuff. So does the Fendi croissant bag, oddly. It looks pretty small, but it fits quite a bit. This can definitely fit even like a long wallet. I've tested it. Um, it can fit like a schedule planner book, which I have one, but do not use. Um, I just carry it around so I can feel like I'm more responsible than I really am. And then a pen, your, you know, or if you don't carry a long wallet, card case, lipstick. This definitely fits like everything that you're going to need. And I like how it's more secure. I'm always paranoid about people stealing and whatnot. So that's that. Let me stand up so I can model it, model it, show it on for you guys. So here's carried like this. Or sorry, I'm like kneeling down so you guys can see. Or here's like this. Or this. And then let me show. Let me grab the croissant bag. Okay. So for size comparison. This one definitely fits a lot more than this one does, but they both fit quite a bit of things. Um, so, but see how this one, if I carry it like this, that just kind of looks weird. Like I would, or even if I carry it like this. I guess like okay, like that. I just like it better over the shoulder, whereas this one, you can definitely carry it like this, or like this. I just prefer the over the shoulder thing. I just like that a lot more, so. Okay, next I'm gonna share scarves. So uh, this is a Givenchy stole. This is actually my grandma's. Um, she's going to the opera, so I had ordered this for her. But I just wanted to show it anyways, just so you guys could see. Um, so it's a little Givenchy stole, like a neutral, little black, gray color. And it definitely opens up a very large. I went to her house yesterday and she tried it on. Um, and you know, you can wear it as like the little shawl and whatnot, but then she opened it all the way just to see like how big it was and it literally covered her entirely. It looked like a blanket, so 
I would personally wear this as a blanket, but if you wanted to, it is that large, just so you guys know for size reference. And it has a little bit of fraying. My grandma and I both don't like fraying on scarves. Why am I so out of breath? Oh my god. I swear, like, doing a whole other glucky workout. But yeah, it's a little bit of fraying. My grandma and I don't really like fraying. But this was like the only one we could find that we liked. Because um, I do all of my grandma's like online orders and shopping. I pick everything out. So um, this was all I could really find. That was the vibe she wanted without too much fraying. So next I have an Emilio Pucci. Pucci, 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 something Pucci. Um, like a bandeau scarf thing. Um, twilly, it's not really a twilly. We'll see in a second. Um, I also have an Hermes one that I store in here, but um, I've never showed it, so I'll show that as well. So let me just show the Hermes one really fast. It's just a little twilly. Um, you know, you can wear these as a hairpiece, or you could wear these, um, you know, as a over a bag handle or something. This Loki might be cute with the hang on. This Loki might be cute with the Fendi croissant, or would that look weird? I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Um, so yeah, just a little Fendi or Hermes Twilly. I just never shown that, but I do store it in here. And now for the Emilio Pucci. I love how large this is. It's so pretty. I feel like this like over your hair. Um, let me just remove this for a second so you can like see what I'm talking about. Okay, so it's reversible also. I'm really excited about this one. So here's this one. It's very long. It's wide and everything. And then here's the reverse side. I love this side better, but I love how it's versatile. I love pieces that are versatile. So I'm always traveling. I need to be able to bring, you know, enough pieces to not wear the same thing, but also not a crazy amount to where I can still carry it. So I love pieces like this. So I don't want to take it on my makeup right now, but see how what I mean like then it can be like that you can have this forward or have that back um, and you could always like fold it to be the size of a twilly if you want to like fold it in half so I love this and it's long I love how it's long okay let's put this back on um, and I have these two Alina Minardaki hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly um, sandals and these were sent to me so everything else was I purchased myself in this haul and then these were sent to me these are very very nice they come with um, a dust bag and I'm definitely taking these to France with me they're so beautiful they're made in Greece uh, I highly highly recommend this brand so beautiful let me show them up close so you guys can get a better view Sophie what are you doing um, Hopefully it's focused. They are such good quality. Um, these are in a size 40, handcrafted in Greece. I'm obsessed with these. I just love Greece. I want to move there. Um, I love Santorini and um, I'm obsessed with these. The detailing is beautiful. It's definitely, yeah, it says handcrafted. I'm obsessed with these. These are so, so beautiful. Definitely recommend these. They're also very, very comfortable. Um, I believe these are around $300. I'll have them linked in the description box, but these are so gorgeous, very, very high quality. So these are definitely a luxury item. Okay, these are so pretty in person. I don't even feel like the camera is picking these up or doing them justice. They are so, so pretty. Again, these are made in Greece and these are in a size 40 as well. They are such nice quality. The beading and everything is so pretty. Let me try to show them up close. I really hope my camera is picking these up. Uh, the beading on them is so nice. So they have these and they tie at the ankle and sort of photo on the screen of the model on the website wearing them. They have these really pretty like little beadings. So, so pretty. Obsessed with these and they have this little shell at the foot part. These are gorgeous. So pretty. So I definitely recommend you guys check out this brand if you have not heard of them. Um, or if you haven't purchased anything from them before. Very gorgeous. And these pieces are definitely very high quality. Okay, last item are these Balenciaga jeans. I already know in my last video I said I don't spend more than $100 or $300 on a pair of um, jeans. So I know, but I was just as I was going through my closets and I was clearing everything out and getting rid of, I got rid of like five large trash bags of clothes. 
um, probably more than that. I forgot I had some other ones too. I had more like six or seven. And I just realized I was getting rid of so many pairs of jeans because I'm smaller, I've lost weight, so they didn't fit me anymore. So I was like, wait, I don't have like any jeans left. I only have like four. So I needed to invest in a nicer pair of jeans. Um, I like how these aren't like super loud, you know, like you only really know they're Balenciaga if you're up close because they do have, um, hopefully it focuses, but they do have this little thing right here, but I mean, who's going to be that close to me? I would hope no one. So I like how they are more discreet. I don't like like super loud labels or logos. So I really like these and these are in a size, I think a 26 or 27. They do run smaller than other brands. Um, so I would normally be like a size 26, but I think I sized up in 27 in these. 27, yeah. So, um, that's just the material. Yeah, so these are 27, they do run small. So if you're normally a size 27, get a 28. If you're normally a size 26 like me, then get a size um, 27, just size up one size. So yeah, I like these, like a little dark gray material obsessed and that is the last thing in my haul thankfully this is coming to an end because my cat is becoming very impatient um and let me know also which item was your favorite that i shared sophie come on you want a little cameo okay this is the culprit that has been making all the noise um so okay i'm holding you now what do you want now um, so yeah, make sure that you leave a comment in the, descri or in the description box. Make sure you leave a comment in the comment section and let me know just any videos you want to see or anything you want me to film while I'm in France. Um, or message me if you want to meet up or anything. And yeah, this outro has to be cut short because someone's getting a little impatient. So yeah, let's put you down. So yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video, which will be a France vlog. If you see hair flying, it's her hair. So yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.